Let's look at types of solutions. So first let's review. For a solution you have the solvent, the material that's dissolving the solute. This is usually a liquid or gas in matrix and water is the universal solvent. The solute is the material being dissolved, the particles within the solution and this is usually the lesser quantity. And then a solution is a homogeneous mixture consisting of a solute dissolved in a solvent. So what types of solutions do we have? We have liquid solutions, aqueous solutions, gaseous solutions, we even have solid solutions. In a liquid solution it's a fluid solution composed of a solute and a solvent while an aqueous solution is a solution composed of a solute always dissolved in water. Gaseous solutions are composed of some type of material, solid or liquid or gas, dissolved into a gas. And then in a solid state you have things like brass and bronze where you have metal alloys joining together, one in a smaller part, one in a larger part. So let's look at some examples of these types of solutions. So if we have a gas solute and a gas solvent in the solution, that example would be air where oxygen is dissolved in nitrogen. We have a gas solute in a liquid solvent in the carbonated beverages where you have CO2 in the water or a swimming pool that has chlorine in the water liquid into liquid, things like wine or vinegar. Wine has ethanol, an alcohol based, in a water solution and vinegar has acetic acid in a water solution. Liquid into solid, we have um, very strange things like dental amalgam for fillings in your teeth, liquid mercury or solid silver. They don't use this as often as they once did. And then you have solid into liquid like saline solution, NaCl, or sugar in water. And then we have a solid and a solid like gold, 14 karat gold is a combination of gold and silver, or silver and gold, excuse me. And then we have steel, which is carbon in iron. So let's look at some examples of solutions. So look at each of these pictures. And why don't you pause the video and determine which types of solutions are being represented by these images. So go ahead and pause the video now. Think about that for a while. When you're ready, come on back to the video. So in each of these cases we of course have a solution uh, made up of a solute dissolved in a solvent. If we look at for instance the lemonade over on the right you have lemon juice, lemon concentrate dissolved in water. Um, for tea, you would drop that tea bag in some hot water and the um, tea crystal particle solutes would be dissolved into the, the water. Uh, you have coffee in the lower right corner. Uh, Airwick solid or Airwick spray would send particles into the air and this would create a solution. And of course you have your ever famous tree down here at the bottom um, sending scent particles into the air of your car. So here we have a little chart. Um, so I'd like you to look at the chart, fill in the type of solution you have and the solute and the solvent in each case. Why don't you go ahead and turn off the video for a moment, fill in the chart, at least mentally, or if you want to write it out, and then come back and check your answers. So let's see how you did. For salt water, of course, this is a solid in a liquid, and that would be salt in water. For vinegar, as we said before, this is a liquid in a liquid, and in this case we have acetic acid in water. For tonic water, club soda, any of the carbonated waters, you have a gas in a liquid, and this would be CO2 in water. Notice that water tends to be the most common liquid solvent. 
And then we have bronze, which is a solid in a solid where tin is added into or part of the solution with copper in making bronze.